Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sashi RE Works. We are uploading regular videos about RE embroidery. So if you like my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell button to get notified. So this is our flower stitch in Zardosi and what I'm going to, what I have done so far is I have uh, made a pearl uh, around first i start started from the center and uh, and then i just made a circle around it and then another circle so from center i have started and made two circles with the pearl so that you will get a center portion like this and then i have cut these uh, dosi into uh, this uh, like somewhat around one inch uh, it depends upon the petal size that you want if you want smaller one you can cut it even more small or if you want big you can make it accordingly so what I'm, I'm going to take a needle a small needle I have put double thread what you have to do is insert the zardosi just insert the zardosi and then uh, next to the point from where you have started you have to leave the needle back now you can see you get a U like this so that is it I've already made one round now I'm making a second circle just insert the zadosi from the needle I have to leave the needle next to the point from where you have started so you will get a shape of U shape so just slightly tighten it So this is how the flower will look after the completion. I have given three rows of this particular uh, uh, this petal shape. Uh, so you can just open it up. You can just press it down to give an open look, or you can just you know close it like this to give a close look. It depends, and also you can increase the size of the zardosi or reduce uh, if you want a flower to be you know if you want you can reduce the size of this so that the petals will be even more small and this particular flower you can use it in your neckline or in your sleeve this single design itself will give you a very grand look you can just uh, uh, use it uh, this this flower alone in your neckline and in your sleeve it will give a very good look you can use it for your frock uh, or for your boat neck you can use it as a you know the start lining so that is it and i'll show you the next design in the zardosi stitch so this is our next stitch in this stitch what i have done is i have just uh, stitched the zardosi here in three lines and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take the needle making it a double thread and a needle so i've cut the i have cut the zardosi into small pieces like this now you have to start from this end So 
just take the zardusi insert and then you have to insert it above the previous line like this just leave some gap again start another round So this is how it will look after completing. This is used for filling mangoes, filling peacock. Uh, so this is majorly used for filling a, ma a large portion in your design. Uh, you can, uh, I will just show you the picture at the end of this video where you can use all, where these designs are used in our blouses. And uh, so let's uh, proceed on to my next stitch in Zardosi. 
so the next stitch is going to be how to give lining to your stones or pearl uh, using the zardosi what you have to do is you have to measure the circumference of the pearl or stone that you are going to take now i have taken a small size of pearl and then cut the zardosi like this using your needle just insert it as i uh, as i showed you in the petal uh, it's going to be the same thing now insert it right next to the point from where you have started now you will get a u shape like this just press it down just press it down like this and tighten it now leave the needle opposite to the point from where you have started now you have to insert in the center the zardosi in is in between these two threads you have to insert and then just lock it so now you can see the uh, we have given a lining for the pearl using zardosi so this gap you can even put even more closer so that you will not get this gap also uh, since it is a small bead i have just uh, done i have just stitched only one side if it is a bigger portion then you have to lock it on either sides on four sides you have to lock it so this is how you give the lining for your uh, zardosi lining for your bead or your stone so this is the design of the flower one which I made of earlier which we will be using in the blouses so this is the uh, I am just showing you an example so you can add on to this leaf or whatever you want and this is actually made in a blouse uh, so this stitch is what we have seen and the next one is the uh, the filling type which is uh, you can see in the feather so these two we have covered so uh, in our video also the lining one so if you like this video uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe as i mentioned in the beginning also if you are trying our works uh, please post me in the comment box actually i am getting pictures from uh, many of you i will be posting it in my next few videos uh, so if you are doing any work with our tutorial please don't forget to send it to me so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos